First question is from vitamin C, Na. How much of my daily protein intake can I eat per meal? You know, this super common. Yeah, this mm -hmm. question comes from, uh, you know, because the, the, I guess the fitness space, or the supplement space in particular, communicates for, for a long time, they've been communicating that your body can only assimilate, you know, 30 to 45 grams of protein at a sitting, which essentially is their amount of protein that you'll find in their bars and their protein powders. And if you eat any more than that, they, you know, kind of imply that it's a waste uh, of protein. Here's the truth. The truth is uh, if you can digest the protein that you eat, then you can eat a lot at one time. In fact, the thing that you should use to dictate how much protein you eat at a sitting should be your, your digestion, how you feel. If you get bloated, constipated, diarrhea from eating – you know, 80 grams of protein, then you might want to, at one time, then you might want to bring it down a little Is bit. Is it really digesting it? Or, I mean, if I go and I have three scoops of whey protein and 10 minutes later I'm on the toilet and I have diarrhea, am I, did I digest that, then poop it out? And so I still absorb the protein, got the benefits, or did I lose some of the benefits of that 90 grams of protein I, I just had? I think what you do is, uh, well, you might lose some of it through going through the, the, the system too quickly. Um, but You're I think- You're pooping something else out, by I, the way. Yeah. It's, it's, not, I, it's not that. I think a lot of I it, mean, it looks like whey, kind of. Yeah. Here's the- Chocolate whey. Jeez. Oh my God. <laughs> That's so gross. Wow. Yeah. You, you can recycle it. Just get- oh, oh, That was too far right Sorry. there. This is what happens. No, I, no what I mean is, uh, okay, so let's say you do assimilate the 50 grams of protein that you just consumed. However, you've messed up your gut, you've got more inflammation, mm. stress hormones go up. Um, are you going to gain the other, are you going to gain the benefits now? Well, no, because you've caused a negative reaction to the body from consuming too much for, in your example, whey protein at yeah. what time. So really, that's the thing that you have to use to measure it. The problem is, People look at studies and they say, okay, uh, muscle protein synthesis is maximized. If I have 40 grams of protein, if I eat more than that, then it starts to drop. So I need this much and you know it's 10% more or whatever. It's all splitting hairs. And yeah. It doesn't make that big of a difference. The big difference is your digestion. That's what you need to oh, pay yeah. attention to. These numbers to. are arbitrary at the end of the day. If, if you're not paying attention to those signs and signals, and you know this is something that I would really peer into personally because of food intolerances and things that I had to work through. Uh, so even you know restricting myself from eating past a certain amount of time, like in the like if it's seven thirty or so, I can't really eat after that. I know it's going to affect my sleep. And then you know when you turn into a gremlin. Yeah, when your sleep gets affected, <laughs> then you're workouts suck and yep. you know it's it's like this uh you know this like domino effect after that yeah and I, I would also look at types of protein i can have way more protein uh at one sitting if it's from whole foods than if it came from protein powders yeah i agree yeah, yeah I, I don't know if you've ever have you ever tried to have no yeah no so i can eat 80 grams of steak you know, so 80 grams of protein from steak. Mm -hmm. I can't have 80 grams of protein from whey powder. So dairy mm -hmm. products. It just it it goes right through me. So mm -hmm. there's yeah. definitely a there is definitely something different going on with my body when I when I go between the two. Yeah, of it seems more bioavailable. You know, Rob Wolf actually just uh, addressed this on his Instagram the other day. He got this exact same question and. Uh, he did. He did allude the, to the bodybuilder community uh, getting this right mm. uh, with the idea of the, the small meals. The small meals, thirty-five or so grams of protein over the course of four to six meals in a day, depending on how big you are and how many calories you need. Uh, as as far as the benefits of the you know consistent protein synthesis that's happening each time, or the protein spike mm -hmm. that you get afterwards, and then also the uh, idea that to your point that. You know, when you're only digesting 35 grams of protein, most people's body, unless you have any sort of conditions, can handle that no problem without having a major effect on your digestion. So to me, it, it really goes back to, you know, what's realistic for the client. Like if you have a client who's only eating, say, 1,800 calories a day, and let's say she only needs 130 grams of protein, well, you can realistically do that in two meals, mm -hmm. you know, two to three meals easily. But if you have a guy that's 230 something pounds and, you know, is trying to build and is training like aggressively and burning a ton of calories and needs to eat mm -hmm. 5,000 calories a day and 200 grams of protein, good luck doing that in two meals. I just, I don't see that happening, especially if you plan to do that with whole, whole good foods. Yeah. And that's, that's one of the main, I think that's the main reason why bodybuilders eat small meals. It has more to do with, you're eating 5,000 calories uh, in a day. Uh, but for mo really, uh, honestly, the thing that should dictate how much protein you have at a sitting 
is just how you feel and your digestion. If you go off of that, um, then you're golden. 